Uh, yeah, I think that was pretty telling right there. <laughs> the ball just blew off the line. Remember, no kickoffs, so we won't get to see anybody put their finger down and, and hold the ball on that kickoff. But you can see the jerseys of those fans right there. You can see the jerseys of the referees. And you call it good weather, quarterbacks don't. That, that is the most <laughs> difficult thing for Brandon Silvers and Gil Gilbert to navigate today. You can deal with moisture, you can deal with cold weather, but navigating the wind, a big part of playing this position. Well, this Memphis offense may have to lean on the ground game, which uh, hasn't exactly been doing gangbusters this year. Get a look at Brandon Silvers. He does have a mic on him today, his second professional Brandon. start as we get underway. And he goes to the air right away, swings it out, and complete. And that is going for the first down. That's going to be a pickup of 12. Hauling it in is wide receiver Drew Morgan, Jerome Couplin making the stop. Find easy completions early. You're also going right at the teeth of Orlando's defense, and that is going to be their secondary. This is the best secondary in the alliance. There's no question about it. You've got seven guys with NFL experience. You've got three pick sixes on the season. I love the start there early. Just find a completion. Red 80. Red 80, set. This time broken up as he tries to squeeze it in over the middle. That was Cody Riggs making the play. Yeah, you're going to see these DBs all over it. He doesn't like the call here. Pass interference. Defense number 20. Spot of the foul. Automatic first down. That's your little run pass option game, and the ball coach doesn't like it too much either. A little early contact there. Brandon Silver's being aggressive, trying to fit that little slant route in off that run pass option. Riggs just a step early. Set. Red 80. Red 80 set. Again, going to the air. Silvers unable to hold on over the middle. That was Dantes Bird out of Tennessee Tech. And that, that win not only affects the quarterback, and you can see it even with the camera here. We're talking 15 to 20 mile an hour gusts. Some, some weather is going to be coming into Memphis, but it can also affect those pass catchers. That, that ball will just wobble a little bit more. And that's where your tight spiral is so critical on a windy day to cut through those conditions. Red 80. Red 80, set. And feeling the pressure right away coming off the edge. Earl Okine, the outside linebacker out of Florida. Lucky to get that off with Silvers. There is no foul for intentional grounding. Number 20 was in the vicinity. Now you don't want to live in long down and distances against this group in secondary. So a little screen pass here from coordinator David Lee. And that's the right play by Brandon. There's nowhere to go with that ball. A couple new offensive linemen today. More moving pieces up front for Memphis. The job there by Brandon just to avoid the negative play. But third and 10 plus against this crew defensively. Very, very difficult. Get a little chippy as we have a flag on the field. They have struggled with pressure. Seven sacks week six, three a week ago in that overtime win against Birmingham. As we await to find out what the call is from our official Reggie Smith. Yeah, Coach Singletary told us this week, he said this is going to be emotional. I, I, he has no, no doubt about his team and just some of the leadership on this team playing emotional. They played better at home. They're two and one. They've not found a way to win out on the road, but you're playing the best team in this league. you got Orlando coming in here, trying to clinch first round uh, of the home playoffs. They're, they're number one. They've got the old ball coach. they got it rolling. Defensive-minded Singletary felt like his team would be emotional. Imagine that. A, a Singletary bit, yeah. coach team emotion. Get a little chippiness here <laughs> very early on. Well, listen, as you mentioned, they are 2-1 and one at home. You look at that 2-5 and five record, and you say, well, you know what? This Memphis team has struggled. They've had several, several close games, three of their five losses by four points or less. And in week three, when they played Orlando, it was a 21-17 right. ball game. They were very much in that game and had a chance to win. Yeah, you just look at the construction of each of these teams, and it's fun for me, kind of from afar, just looking at all of it like, a, like a, the sky do at the NFL level and they're constructed defensively their linebackers their front by far the most vocal and physical crew on their After football the play, team personal foul unnecessary, unnecessary roughness, roughness defense number 20 that's a 15 yard penalty from the dead ball spot automatic first down well that's Cody Riggs again he got the pass interference early and, and that time a little too much extracurricular activities after the play. And this this hurt Orlando. Part of the reason that game, Dan, was 21-17, 124 yards in penalties in the first matchup. 
You just can't have it. Bill Parcells used to say for every 100 yards of penalties, you're giving up six points. And that's two early defensive penalties here aiding the Memphis Express offense. Red 80. Red 80, set. Have to get to the 35-yard line for a first down. It looks like a miscommunication there. Yeah. Yeah, but you see the emphasis here very early from David Lee. Get the ball out of Brandon's hands. Right, an RPO, a little bubble screen. That time, again, another kind of run pass option. Really trying not to sit in the back of that pocket with a bunch of moving pieces. Home team highlights brought to you by At Home, the home decor superstore. As we mentioned, much better at home than they are on the road. The Express still looking for their first win on the road. They love the Liberty Bowl. Second and 10 for Silvers. And Ooh. Silvers, his fifth pass attempt of the ball game, Marquez right. White out of Florida State there with the pass. Yeah, you back. better be really careful if you're Brandon Silvers with your ball placement today. These corners sit. They're long. They're athletic. Uh, they, they're not just looking to knock the ball away. They're looking to score. Four defensive touchdowns in seven games, and you see it. They're not threatened by the speed. They're going to squat on many of those routes, and you better be right with your ball placement. Third and long. Have to get to the 35 for the first down. They swing it out. That's Stacy. Stacy taken down at the 40. Jarrell Worthy making the stop. So after the five yard gain, they're going to be just a wee bit shot. Yeah, this will be an interesting call for Mike Singletary. I think with the windy conditions, makes it a little bit easier to punt. If this is the old ball coach, he's probably going for it in this area of the field. Excellent pursuit, by the way, from Jarrell Worthy, former, former second round pick. Missed the last four games, been battling some injuries. He wants to get himself right for another shot in the league. That kind of pursuit and effort will help him. Second round pick back in 2012. The wind also going to play issues with the punter, Ryan Winslow. Down to the 12 yard line. Fair catch is called for. No score. More than 13 minutes to go here in the first. We're back after this. This is the true story of the moment that changed my life. Okay, who's next? I need to see you acting. Go deep. I'm going to the John. When you're honest about who you are, good things happen. You start telling the truth, then they are never going to look at you the same way again. Ah! Oh my god, that was so scary. Whoa. Nothing comes easily. That's what happens in golf and in life. I'm very fortunate that I can lean on people, and that for me is what teamwork's all about. You can't do everything yourself. You need someone to guide you and then help you make those tough decisions. That's Morgan Stanley. They're industry leaders, but the most important thing is they want to do it the right way. I'm really excited to be part of the Morgan Stanley team. I'm Justin Rose. We are Morgan Stanley. All right, welcome back. Our first look at Garrett Gilbert and the most high-powered, potent offense in the alliance. Garrett Gilbert, probably the MVP of the league so far. Yeah, he, he better get a shot. You know, I called him his daddy's name earlier. Uh, he's made his own name for himself. 11 touchdowns to one pick. Anticipation and accuracy are his game, and it has flourished here through the first seven weeks of the season. Green 10! Green 10! Turn up! Starting from their own 12-yard line, Gilbert going to the air, complete, picks up seven. Davis Toll on the tackle, Matt Weiser on the catch. You know, it's interesting, Dan, in watching these games. Obviously, the defenses are hindered. They don't get to blitz. They don't get to disguise. Up, right? they, they show the quarterback what basically what they're going to play. So while you're not working on a lot of your game from the neck up, that you got to do in the NFL level of processing, you are working on that anticipation. You are developing your accuracy. I'm anxious to see him in these windy conditions today. If he can continue to play at the level he's played at, which, as you said earlier, is the best in this league. This time, keeping it on the ground, and that will go for the first down after the gain of four. A couple of talented running backs in the backfield, and Dearness Johnson and Davion Smith. Johnson's been getting the starts of late, but they both rank in the top four in rushing yards in the line. Yeah, they do, and the old ball coach is known, right, fun and gun, throw it all over the place. Best quarterback in the league. They're also one of the top running, in fact, number one in the league in running efficiency at over five yards yeah, yeah. a carry. I think the big guys up front have an awful lot to do with that. Yeah. They are down left guard Andrew Tell Tiller today. Green 10, green 10! 
Gilbert has a man off the fingertips. He was looking for his running back, the Ernest Johnson, coming out of the backfield. That's a little man-to-man -man matchup that, uh, that Steve Spurrier does so well. You get Steve Spurrier defenses that don't blitz and aren't exotic, and he can craft the one-on-ones he wants. Not a surprise to get his back on middle linebacker Davis Toll. He watched all this tape. He knows in man-to-man -man situations, Colton Jumper, Davis Toll, the strong safety middle linebacker, they're thumpers. They want to come down and hit you. Steve Spurrier wants to get those guys in space. Just a very near miss there between QB and running yeah. back. Weiser lined up in the backfield. Dearness Johnson back there as well. Gilbert to the air. Unable to hold on. Charles Johnson, his best receiver and the leading receiver in the league. Charles James the second in coverage. I think one thing also jumps out just in these first early passes. You saw Silvers on the other side, right? Get everything out of my hands. On this side, look at the space in that pocket. This has been the best O-line. That's a play that Johnson's made all season long. Not a lot of drops. But you find just different confidences this year has evolved. A constant at quarterback, the best O-line going, a little more comfort throwing the ball down the field in some of that play-action game. than the other side, it's just simply trying to get the ball out and function. Yeah, flat. Down. Green 10, green 10. Set up. The third down conversion rate, 42%. And he's picked off. Garrett Gilbert, just his second interception of the season. Great field position for Memphis. What a play by Justin Martin. The corner out of Tennessee steps right in front of the throw. Flag down on the play. Pass interference. Defense, number 33. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Well, no wonder it looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> well, I said on the other side, those corners are squatting. You're going to see the route here. It's going to be a little bit of a comeback. And you're going to see the corner here. Martin, who's playing for the injured Cotrere, he's just sitting right on it. He's trying to. But that grab, that squeeze, and whenever you grab that receiver and you impede his opportunity to come back to the ball, that's got to be called. Didn't look like a, a lot, but it just enough. But you yeah. impede in the receiver. You could see it in his reaction. He stops his route because of that contact. Again, on the play action, Gilbert deep down the middle of the field. Gilbert has a man. This time, Charles Johnson holds on. A 48-yard gain for the Apollos. Yeah, and once again, just look at the space in the pocket. If you're going to give the QB this kind of air, right, look at, look at Gilbert. He makes the play fake. Everything is in front of him. You get to step up. And that is that is just easy pickings. That's exactly what you want as a quarterback. You want the ability to step up in the pocket, have no one around you, and then nobody in center field either, so you can throw yet another laser like he's done all season Good. long. And they've been doing that all season long. Johnson coming into the game with 37 Green catches 10, for 552 10. yards. Gilbert with time, little shallow crossing route over the middle. Ishmael Hyman picks up five. And this is the number one tendency in their offense. Like, you, you go back and look at Spurrier's offense. Well, what does he do? He loves to get in three-by-one sets. Dan, there's going to be three receivers to one side, and then they run a lot of that, what they call their shallow cross game. Just try to get a lot of interference. If somebody comes clean underneath like that, you take the completion. But it also interferes and allows those second-level intermediate throws for a bunch of these 11 touchdowns at Gilbert's throw. Down! Green 10, green 10! Gilbert on second and five. Looks once, looks twice, goes back to his running back, Dearness Johnson, six-yard gain. And they're looking at first and goal right now are the Apollos. The red zone is a place where they really have struggled offensively this yep. year. They've done everything well, but last year a lot better. Watch the time that this route takes. <laughs> you don't run this route in the NFL in less than two seconds because you don't have that much time. Look at look at the route. It's actually covered. Call many places home. Oh, lots of questions. So we made owning a home easier. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. For the first time in the history of pro sports, here's the app as fast as every player in the game. The Alliance app delivers revolutionary technology, real-time play-by-play gaming, instant interactivity. Truly a game changer. Get the Alliance app today. Live predictive gaming at full speed.
Call the plays. Unprecedented and at your fingertips. Available on the App Store and Google Play. App right there. Very cool app right there. It's number one in both the Google and Apple stores. If you download it now, all kinds of features and sights and sounds that you don't want to miss. See what you can find and enjoy. So Orlando has to settle for the field goal, an easy one, but uh, they had a shot. They did. And if you're Memphis, they'll get the scoring differential there. That, that first quarter for the old ball coach, he's jumped on people this season. Memphis, well, they've been on the other side of that, having to dig out of massive holes. Against the number one offense in the league, you hold them to field goals at home, you give yourself a chance to win when it matters. Brandon Silver's just two of six so far for 16 yards. And this is second drive of the game. Goes to the air once again. That's going to be just shy of the first down. Gerard Shepard calling it in. And once again, that ball is what? It's out. You, yep, put a, you, put, you put a stopwatch on these two guys today, you're going to see the difference between a guy that's played all season with basically the same healthy team around him versus Brandon making his second start, right? Third different starting quarterback for this crew. Lots of di different guys up front, even more so today. So your rhythm is going to be found by getting the ball out of your hands. Ready. They did indeed pick up the Ready. first. Stacy, not going anywhere. Last man to get there, Will Hill the third. He is an in-the-box safety who is not afraid to tackle. Yeah, it's hard enough to go get the linebackers, and then when you get secondary unblocked people, if you're Zach Stacy, man, you started hot. <laughs> yeah. First couple games out the gate, you had some running room. The last couple weeks been very difficult. Too many free defenders on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Cut. Red 80. Red 80, set. Silver's looking to the left side, flushed out of the pocket. Oh. And that was nearly picked off. Earl Okine with the pressure. Marquez White gets his hands on the ball. And yeah, you hear that mic up sound. That was also a little bit of a shot at the end of that play. Trying to extend the play, which you love to do. You also got to protect yourself as a quarterback. And these are just the areas you can't be today. You just can't live in third and 11. And Okine showing great effort. You see the pursuit of everybody on that defense. Yeah, and that's one that well, Orlando's made all year. That's a pick that Marquez is going to kick himself right in his hands. Ready, set. Look at it, third and 11. Silvers dumps it off. Stacy trying to get to the first down marker. He's going
When Memphis is on offense, meanwhile, Davion Smith picking up five to get things started here in the second half. You know, when he started that conversation with the white hat, I thought, tackle? Like, what is he talking about? He, what, which D tackle's been off early? No, he's not talking about who he's going against. He's talking about being on the sidelines when Memphis is on offense. That's how engaged these guys are, and certainly Coach Gilbert. Coach Gilbert liked the ring of that. Asked him if he thought about coaching when he was done. He said, you know, maybe. I, yeah. I, I liked it when I was doing it. Green Obviously, time, he wants green to play time. as long as he can. Second and five here for Gilbert. Gilbert with plenty of time in the pocket, and the flag was down. It looked like Johnson was wide open, the throw a little short. And once again, attacking the injury the at right corner. Defense, number 33. Five-yard penalty, automatic first down. No Jeremy Cotrere, the starting corner, so they picked on Martin all game long, and this was going to be a double move. Yet another adjustment. You want to sit and squat on some routes, we're going to run a little out and up. And I believe that's now the third penalty on Martin as they keep going after him. Martin played at the University yeah. of Tennessee from 2015 to 2017. Yeah. Moving into the starting lineup this green week. Green 10, green 10. Gilbert with all day again. This time attacking downfield. And again looking for Charles Johnson, Charles James. Right there, step for step. Yeah, that's a little better coverage there. That's using your body. That's not grabbing. And I think on these deep balls, we were. Hi, I'm with DinetteOnline.com, and I'm here to help you determine which parts you need to replace. Bigger receiver, Johnson, all the way to the boundary. Use that 12th defender. It's there. It's the sidelines. A nice job down. there by James at corner. It's five down. Green 10, green 10. Set it up. This time, Gilbert lucky he wasn't picked off. Jalen Marshall, the man he was yes. looking for, but three defenders were in the vicinity, including Mark. Yeah, we've just seen three or four of these. It's just it's just forcing the issue, and I'm taking the check down here. If, I, if I'm QB here and I'm looking at three over two, there's just simply too much congestion there. I mean, you can see that. There, there, there's nowhere to go with the ball. And I know that, that Garrett and Coach Spurrier love to push the ball down the field, but yeah. the crumbs lead to the cookie, as they like to say. Take the check down. The worst case green scenario, had you hit the running back, a six, seven yard gain. Now you're looking at third and 10. Again, has a man wide open. This time it's caught, and this time it'll be a touchdown. Dante Dye Jr., a 65 yard score after a couple of huge third down catches last week. He gets his second to touchdown it. of the season. That's beautiful, man. Not, not been your best day, a couple picks, but it doesn't deter you. This is, I think, the growth of Gilbert as much as anything. That's what this league can do for quarterbacks. And you just right by him. I mean, you're going to see James there, the beautiful coverage earlier on Charles Johnson. And that time he gets flat-footed. I don't think he expected Die to run right by him. I thought he expected maybe a, a route at the sticks, an out route, a curl route. Instead, uh, Dye takes a deep, uh, hey, perfectly you thrown get, touchdown. Hey, Lake, 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 Lake. Turn hey, that easy, line easy. to the left. Lake, Lake. So you heard Al across earlier. Green 10, green 10. Maybe on Smith in the backfield. And flag down as the pass is caught by Chris Thompson. And you can see Thompson clapping. Let's see what it is. Prior to the pass, holding defense number four. So the two point conversion will stand. And that's exactly what Memphis didn't want to happen over you know, the second half. We've here. seen this concept just shallow cross. And you could hear Gilbert, Coach Gilbert, talking about turning that protection to the left. The shallow Prior cross pass, comes right in holding. front of Gilbert. Defense Holding was away four. from the play, but the this is what set it all up. That's a beautiful the job at the hands on a windy day. The two-point conversion is good. You'll hear, co you'll hear scouts, especially this time of year as we're getting ready for the draft, right? They talk about catching radius. What's a guy's catching radius? And can you play a deep ball that's moving around in those 20-mile-an-hour winds and to go out and pluck that ball away from your body? That's not easy to do at full speed. 
And what did Coach Spurrier say? He's not been around many to throw a more catchable ball than Garrett Gilbert. And you see it. He gives his guys opportunities. That's beautifully done. That's that's why they're 6-1. You score before half. Let's you go, score coming out of half. And you impose your Set. will home or Ready. away. Ready, set. Throwing on first down, picking up eight for the man who have another flag down on the play. Who caught that touchdown pass, Dante Dye, by the way. 68 receiving yards on the year. That was good for 65. This better not be a and false that was your receiver downfield on the pass. <laughs> Offense, number 65. Five-yard penalty. We play first down. That's our that's center, Rainey. We, we like him. He's a live wire. That's a run pass option. And in college, you get three yards. In this league, in the NFL, you get about a yard. That's tough duty for him. He's like, I, I, it's a run to me. I, I'm, I'm blocking run. Hardest part about being an offensive lineman, I think. No question in let's that go, RPO go, game. Set. Red 80. Red 80, set. Look at the numbers there. As Silver slings it out yeah. to the right. Gerard Shepard hauls it in, picks up 11. They'll be looking at second down. Yeah, I honestly think now that Gilbert made that point to those officials and you watch it, and Weathersby the right tackle, I think he is off on the snap, but the ball is floating back. I asked David Lee, the coordinator, I said, was Rainey always a center? Because sometimes that velo on that snap, you need that ball. Those shotgun snaps, those guys get so good at. But I think because the ball is coming line. back slow to the quarterback, it emphasizes that get off at the right tackle. Red 80, red 80, set. Look at David Lee there. He's been with six NFL teams. And that one nowhere near Dantes Bird. And this is danger zone for David Lee. This is where you don't want to be against this Orlando team, where you feel like you've got to throw the ball. You're playing into the strength of a group that's gotten 10 picks this year. Returned four of them for touchdowns. Really had a pick six that ended the game in Atlanta last week. And Brandon Silvers, remember, not a lot of experience let's go, let's go. at the professional level. This is just his second career Stop. start as a pro. Hey, check six, six, six. Express, express, huh? Third and five. They bring five. Let's Silvers go, does a nice job of getting that off. Completes to Gerard let's go, Shepard. Let's go. And that's going to go down as a 20-yard game. That was a really nice job of the guys up front picking up that stunt. It was kind of a funky little look. That's why Silvers gave them some time at the line of scrimmage to make sure they had it. And you could see it. Everybody's Velcroed up there. And as a QB, any QB, whether it's Gilbert, whether it's Silvers, you give them some space in the pocket and a nice effort there to recover. I think what would have been a fumble, no question. And heads up play by Robinson coming in there to recover it. Keeping this Memphis drive alive. And this time they keep it on the ground. Kenny Hilliard can't shake that defense. First man there, Andrew Ankra out of James Madison University. Won a national championship there. Funny story about Ankra. He played for a friend of mine at Quince Orchard High School in Maryland. Uh, Wanted to be quarterback when he was. And then uh, he just grew. And then, he, and then he was too physical. No. And then he let the guys just wear the red He jersey. watched Robert Griffin the <laughs> third when he was in high school, that great season yeah. he had for the Redskins. And he said, you know what? Maybe I can play QB at JMU. Uh -uh. Red Eddie. Pretty good at linebacker. Red Eddie, set. Second and 12. Hilliard, Northrop. Shaken off. But he does not get back to the line of scrimmage. So you see yeah. this Orlando defense, the number one scoring defense in the leagues, flexing their muscles. Well, you get to third and 16, it's a lot easier. Even if you can't blitz and do some of the things that these D coordinators love to do, it gives you a tremendous opportunity. The worst third down offense in this league against one of the better groups defensively, and they're showing you why. Creating negative plays, so often third down attached to first down. And if you do not get anything going on early downs. Let's go. Climbing Stop. uphill. Red 80. Two for eight on third down. Third and 12 here. And that one going to be two yards shy of the first down. Helmet comes flying off for Adrian Robinson. And that was your guy, Will Hill, finishing the tackle textbook style. You got to go, though, right? I, I or, would. Or at least hard count. I mean, at a, at a minimum here, you've got.
What, what do you have to lose, man? It's got to let Ready. it all hang out here. Ready, sir. Pitch out to the left, and they do indeed pick up the first down and then some. Down to the 30-yard line and the 28-yard line after a 17-yard gain is Terrence McGee. Well, do you recognize that play? Yes, we saw it before, That was we? the exact same play. Look at Spur here. We, we did it to them on the other <laughs> side. You know, I, I did the fly sweep, but the, 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 the little quick, quick man pitch. Pretty good the, ex <laughs> the exact same play. Look at the motion. You're attracting those eyes of those defenders. You hesitate for a second. Excellent block out there on the edge by the receiver, the physical receiver, Williams. But flip nine off the same action. It worked for one side, and it works for the set. other. Red 80. Red 80, set. Ball at the 28-yard line now from Memphis. Silvers pressured, still gets it off. Man, they were coming hot off the edge. Flag down on the play. I know, I know, I know, I know. Come on. That's the last play call. See what the call is here. Our referee today, Reggie Smith, wearing the white hat. Brandon Silvers, 18 of 30 so far. You can hear the. There were fouls by both teams. An eligible receiver downfield on the pass. Offense number 71 is declined by rule. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 59 will be enforced 15 yards from the previous spot in automatic first down. That's Okan. Here's a look. Hmm. What do you think? Well, that's not a penalty in college. That's a penalty in the NFL as you're protecting guys. And, well, we're right in between there, right, in the alliance. And they're going to do, the, in their judgment, their job to protect the quarterback. Set. Red 80. Red 80, set. Fresh set of downs just inside the 15-yard line. Silver's pass caught after being bobbled. And that's a seven-yard gain for the express nice job hanging on to the ball there yeah and we, we continue to see this you know just a, a lot of the ball out of your hands and i continue to watch maybe my favorite player on this memphis team i, I think the center demetrius rainey 65 you've heard him all game long on that previous play where there were men downfield that was him telling the qb you know he's telling guys to catch it he's telling his quarterback you've got to get the ball out on those run pass options this guy knows his ball he keeps it Silver's down to the two-yard line. Good tackle. Good tackle. Five-yard game before taken down by Couplin. <laughs> See the smile there. Yeah, we saw this earlier, right? We saw the linebacker Garvin come in and make a tackle on a third and one. And this time, Silver's not known as a escape artist. You have to. You have to get those yards when they've been given to you. Two carries, 16 yards in the game for Silver's. Just two carries for six yards coming into the game. Got it. Red 80. Red 80, sir. Keeping it on the ground. McGee head down and into the end zone for the Memphis touchdown. Good set. Good set. Holler. Terrence McGee been a very important part of this offense, keeping Memphis right here in the game. Yeah, you get down here, and any running back is always taught to do what, man, do not hesitate. You're going to have to be your own blocker. BYOB, you're going to have a free defender. There's going to be somebody you've got to run through that tackle. Low man wins. It's a big Let's touchdown, go. and yet again, another response by the Express. That red 80. Red 80. <laughs> This time they're going to throw wide open for the conversion. Caught Dantes Bird, keeping things tight here in Memphis. 22-17. There is no quit in this Memphis Express team. Very much in the ball game, trying to improve to three and one at home and keep those playoff hopes alive. Nothing comes easily. That's what happens in golf and in life. I'm very fortunate that I can lean on people, and that for me is what teamwork's all about. You can't do everything yourself. You need someone to guide you and, and help you make those tough decisions. That's Morgan Stanley. They're industry leaders, but the most important thing is they want to do it the right way. 
I'm really excited to be part of the Morgan Stanley team. I'm Justin Rose. We are Morgan Stanley. Free, 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 That's right. TurboTax free is free. Free, 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 free. So Memphis. Finds the end zone, makes this a five-point ball game. Sky Cam brought to you today by Wheels Up. Two Sky Cams working for you today, giving us the best angles in the business. Let's see how the Apollos Down. respond here. Akeem Hunt with Garrett Gilbert. Green 10, green 10! Here's Hunt, shakes one tackle in the backfield, another, and finally goes down to Marcus Gates. Lands on top of him after a loss of two. That was a lot of work for two yards to lose. Two the wrong way. And I'll yeah. tell you what, that's a good response by Coach Singletary's crew. They're very easy when you're playing the best team in the league that's hot. You're up against it. How many guys have been knocked out of this game, including Manziel? He said his team would be emotionally ready. And it's one thing to say that. It's another to watch them react to a little adversity. You go down two scores. Down. And the offense does their job. Let's see if the defense can green do theirs. Green 10, green 10! On second and 12, that's Johnson picking up 10. Drew Jackson there on the stop. And one of the more active linebackers in the Alliance this season out of Western Kentucky. So we've seen two things this down in distance. The shallow cross game on third and two because you get a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. You've seen him also, Gilbert, use his cadence. Right, try to use that cadence and, and pound the football and get guys off the ball. Those have really been the two go-tos in this down and distance. Down. Easy, 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 easy. Buffalo Yankee. Buffalo Yankee. Green time, green time. Set up. And Johnson, couple of jump steps. He's going to be stopped short. Of the first down. So football 101 right there. That Buffalo Yankee, he, he had in that concept the shallow cross game going. That's the formation they've run shallow cross. He makes an audible Buffalo Yankee. Buffalo is going to be the direction of the run. And I bet whatever Yankee is, is that run play. So he right there looked at the box count, said, you know what? This is a soft zone. Instead of the shallow cross game, we're going to we're gonna try to run it. And look at this on his own 34. Right. Steve yeah. Spurrier going for it. Hey, ball coach doesn't mess around. Yeah. Fourth green in the Alliance this ten. season on fourth down conversions. Pitch it out to the left. And they will not convert, giving the ball back to Memphis after the one-yard loss in prime time position. What a stop by that Memphis D. A little check with me on third down. This is the call all the way, and this is a better job on that edge of setting that edge. Kevin Carter knows it. He's in the studio today. He loves it. You got to win on that edge first. You don't win on that edge first, you got no chance. Right? That's all you hear in Belichick's teams and that discipline. When you run that toss play in the bunch, you've got to win. You have got to drive that defender off the ball. You don't. You allow the rest of the express to pursue and attack. And Winston and crew, well, could they respond defensively? That's a definitive. Yes. Let's go, let's go, we gotta go. What a monster play for that Memphis defense. Set. Brady and Ready. Winston coming up Ready, here. Set. Silver's out of the shotgun. Quick pass over the middle. Picks up seven as Barnes makes the catch. Yeah, Silver's now his 20th completion. I'll tell you, he's just he just got a little edge to him. You know, these guys have played so much college ball. Remember, he went to LSU and he beat LSU. That yeah, he did. He went right into the teeth of Death Valley, and you just sense it. You feel it. And this coordinator, David Lee, he, he loves him. He said some NFL yeah. guys calling him this week. He's going to get into a camp, and just to watch the Stop. urgency and the edge he plays Ready. with. I love it. Ready, sir. McGee on second and four. And he's wrapped up by Jarrell Worthy after a gain of one. As much as you evaluate anticipation and accuracy and excellent pursuit by Northrop and crew, 
I, I think the scouts and the coaches that watch us say, how do you command your crew? How are you elevating everybody around you? You're mic'd up. I want to hear you communicate. Coaches mic up young quarterbacks in mini camps all the time in the NFL because they want to get that sense quick. of how you lead. Yeah, look quick. Stop. Red 80. Red 80, set. On third and three, fighting for the first down and picking it up is Dan Williams. So this Memphis offense keeps it moving after the huge fourth down stop. Did you hear him before the snap? Third and three, look early. If I got soft cushion, I'm coming to you right away. Ball's out of my hand. And even with a soft snap, he put that ball right on the money and gave Williams the opportunity to move the chains. Set. Good check now. Red 80. Red 80, set. Again, another complete pass. This time, Gerard Shepard, Marquez White in coverage, 13 yard gain for Memphis. Yeah, third and one. What are you going to do here? Do you have an awareness, quarterback, of what the down and distance is, of the amount of that soft cushion? You even told your receiver before the snap, hey, he's soft. Look at him. He's 11 yards deep on third and one. That ball would get on him even faster if he had a firm snap from the center. So he's overcoming the wind, he's overcoming the snap, and he's got the awareness to see everything that's going on on the field. First and goal from the nine. Ready, set. Silvers out of his hands quickly and through the hands of Dan Williams. Talk about that win at LSU, one of the biggest wins in the history of Troy for Silvers. He was actually potentially going to start the season for Memphis. And remember, they had Zach Mettenberger and Christian Hackenberger, and of course, Manziel on the roster now. Then he had this oblique injury that kept him on the shelf for about a month, but now he's back, and you can see what they like so much about him. Let's go, let's go. Set. Red 80. Red 80, set. Threads the needle. Looked like he held on until he went to the ground. Really on the field is a catch and down by contact. Third down. That catch by Shepard puts the ball right at the one yard line. Tremendous effort. Yeah, this is about as tight a window as you're going to ever throw into. <laughs> I mean, sure is. You know what we call that growing up? Big boy throw? That's a car wash ball. That's a car. <laughs> that ball goes through the car wash and doesn't get wet. <laughs> I like that. See, I, I knew I would learn something from you today. <laughs> into the end zone. Touchdown, Memphis. Wow. <laughs> Brandon Silver's leading the charge down the field, but we have a flag down. And there's Johnny Manziel in his like uniform. That. Was everybody set? I think that would be the question when you do that QB sneak. You got to make sure everybody's set. Illegal formation. Offense. Five men in the backfield. Five-yard penalty. Replay, third down. Yeah, you want to run that quarterback sneak, right? You want to get up there. You see Tom Brady do it better than anybody else. So you got to rush to the line, and, and you're just not aware in making and setting your formation because you want to push. You get that incredible push from Rainey, but that's where you just got to slow the game down and just make sure everybody's aligned, and Manziel loves it. So now the ball back out to the six-yard line. Got red 80. Red 80 set. Silvers eludes the rush. Pressured again. Oh. And that falls incomplete. Oh, that penalty just a killer. Right, you mentioned earlier they've had four losses by four points or less. I mean, those and those are the plays. Mike Singletary said we just have to avoid the negative catastrophic plays. You take a touchdown off the board because you just don't get aligned right. Circle that play. It could be a huge one with just 17 minutes left. Austin McGinnis on. It's up the 24-yard field goal. We've talked about the wind and the weather here. The kickers have been unfazed as McGinnis until now. Why would you got to do that? I jinxed him. Why you got to do that? First miss <laughs> by a kicker today. They had... 
the lead in hand. The penalty takes the touchdown off the board. Now they miss the field goal as Johnny Manziel digs in. in. Here at Top Golf, the grass is greener on our side of the fence. But you guys don't have grass. True, but we have buckets of beer instead of buckets of balls. You like that? And our high tech tee offs let you know exactly how far you hit your seven iron. So I can bring my own clubs. How else are you going to beat your buddy, Dave? Now tuck your shirt in and put your spikes on. I'm kidding. In fact, go nuts. Bet on yourself, talk a big game, score high. You mean score low. Score however, because this is Top Golf. This is everyone's game. Whatever it takes for kids to build great futures. STEM education and flag football. Integrity and leadership. Whatever it takes. The Boys and Girls Clubs offer it. The Alliance is proud to help them transform kids' lives. Join us and donate by texting Team BGCA to 41444 now. Thank you! This month, the Alliance is teaming up with the Boys and Girls Clubs of America to help kids cross the goal line. You can join the efforts by texting Team BGCA to 41444 to donate now. What a big swing yep. that was. Advantage yeah. Orlando. Green 10, green 10. Set it up. Gilbert falls free on the ground. Memphis picks it up into the end zone. Memphis touchdown. Corey Crawford scoops and scores. Demarcus Gates with the hit. Covered by the defense. The result of the play is a touchdown. My goodness. <laughs> that response. Good city. How much fortitude, and I love it. These two linebackers have been very active today. Gilbert trying to figure out which one is going to come, and he does not have his eyes on Gates. Both of those guys have been active blitzers today. Gates forced two fumbles a week ago, the defensive player of the week in the alliance. And he can do this, man. He, he can get downhill in a hurry. The leading tackler for three straight years at Ole Miss. What a gigantic, just emotional swing. Right after you get a touchdown off the board, you miss a field goal. And how about Corey Crawford out of Clemson? That is a dream come true for a D-lineman as they try to put two Ray more on the board here. Silver's off the mark, but they get that touchdown back. They came off the board earlier because of the penalty. A missed field goal. Action packed, folks. You don't want to go anywhere. Memphis up by one with 2.36 to go here in the third. room definitely needs a rug. Something to take it from okay to OMG. I found the perfect rug at the perfect price here at home, where you'll find every style with the biggest selection at the best prices. My search for the right bar stool is on. One where I'll be sitting pretty. This one, the perfect bar stool at the perfect price. Here at home, where you'll find every style with the biggest selection at the best prices. Nobody has protected the football better than Orlando coming into this game. Just three turnovers in their six wins. Three so green far ten, today. Ten. Now up to eight on the season. And after that Memphis touchdown, they keep it on the ground here. Nice 11-yard run by Davion Smith. And you got to give a little credit to Memphis defensively, right? They, they've just played hard. They've, they've flown around. They've bent at times. They're down a number of defenders, including a starting corner and Cotrere, and the backup's been picked on. But the resolve to can continue to dig deep, and these two linebackers, I think, really spearhead that effort in Gates and Jackson. Mike Singletary says of DeMarcus Gates, he has no yeah. idea how special he can be. Green 10, green 10! Set up! On second and one. 
Another fine defensive play. This time it's Charles James. He was beaten for the touchdown earlier, but he's been all over the place in this game. You can see him mixing it up a little bit with Dante Dye, the man who beat him for that touchdown. Well, Charles, I said to you earlier, the only defender in their secondary with NFL experience. Orlando's got seven. Seven defenders. They've started games. Look at that, 106 starts. Memphis, it's just Charles who made that tremendous play right there. That is it. And this is an awfully big emotional swinging play here as well. Green 10, green 10! Here's Smith. Met in the backfield, not going anywhere. That express defense continues to come up large. The safety, Brandon Maiden on the stop. Oh, he did. He got to finish it. But look at this. When you're in short yardage, and I've talked about these guys playing downhill, when you're in short yardage situations, it's tug of war. But it is that initial penetration. If you win that, and you got guys flying around and playing hard on the back end, as you do right now with the Express, and Maiden the beneficiary of all the great effort in front of them. Fourth and four. Obviously, they're punting the ball. Lands at about the 32 and then bounces backwards before they decide to down it. So, not a favorable bounce. That's going to go in the books as a 37 yard punt. The Alliance of American Football concludes on Saturday, April 27th at 8 Eastern in the Ford Center at the Star in Frisco, Texas. You can watch the top two teams fight for the Alliance Championship in person. Tickets on sale soon, starting at just 25 bucks. You can get them at AAF.com or SeatGeek.com. The Star, just a beautiful facility in Frisco, home of the Dallas Cowboys. What a treat it will be to play the championship game there. One point ball game with Memphis on top of Orlando, the best team in the Alliance so far this season. Brandon Silver's on the play action, gets away from the man. officiating crew who've been on top of this one today. Silvers out of Orange Beach, Alabama. Played Let's his go, college go. football, of course, at Troy. Red 80. Red 80, set. Second and 14. Catch is made. Did he keep his feet in bounds? That was Dan Williams again. Nice effort, but he wasn't able to get Man, that ball there. is out. That's one of the hardest throws. When you watch the combine, you'll hear all those guys say, can you throw that backside out? That 12 to 14 yard out, can you put it on the money? This kid's, this kid's gonna be Let's in the game. Let's go with it. Gotta get something with it. That, Third down conversion, just three of a line so eight. far. Third and 14, the draw to McGee, and McGee picks up. 10, maybe 11. Oh, man. And the quarter winds down here. Memphis playing with a one-point lead as we head to the fourth quarter here at the Liberty Bowl. What a turn of events it's been. That's Johnny Manziel. Knocked out of the game earlier. Watching Garrett Gilbert and Brandon Silvers go head-to-head. -head. One more quarter to play here in Memphis. As Murbros, we're always trying to be our best selves. And with their new fish sticks and fillets, Gordon's is at its best too. Ridiculously fresh tasting. So perfect. Trust the Gordon's fisherman. Felon. Yep. I'm just trying to turn my life around. I want a job with a purpose. Cooks cook in the kitchen. I'm a chef. No, I saw how much you're getting paid. Trust me. You're a cook. You do realize he's never had a real job? I think you're being a little bit hard on Trey. Why? Because he's sitting right here. 
This is my last shot of my dream. If the people accept my food, then they're gonna accept my message. Come get your salad toss! The Last OG premieres Tuesday at 10.30 on TBS. You're not gonna believe what I'm about to tell you. No, I'm not. But it is pretty cool, so I might tell you. You down? Always. I mean, this is crazy, right? It's wonderful. Desmond Sands, manicurist. Ooh, you are artist. She looks after her brother. Dang! She washes money to her salon. She's trouble. Don't get it twisted. I just want to live the dream. <laughs> Me and my girls ain't going nowhere. Okay. We fool gangster. With full sets. Claws. New season coming soon on TNT. So Memphis making a late charge here in the third quarter. Now at a one-point lead after Orlando. Punt and it's inside the 20-yard line and taken down right away is Dearness Johnson. Good coverage on the punt there by Memphis. A 45-yard kick by Ryan Winslow. How about the head ball coach? Entertaining 100% of the time. Garrett Gilbert says sometimes he has to... Uh, to keep himself from laughing when he's talking to him on the plane. Let's listen in. Hey, meet him out. Hey, hey, that's on that guy. Hey, I was on that guy. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Yeah. If they come this way, you back up. I'll, I know, I'll I'm, try, I'm trying to. You. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> Oh, he is having a good time. That's backup quarterback Kevin Anderson, kind of his personal protector there on the sideline as this one's complete to Jalen Marshall. And uh, you, you got to love Steve Spurrier. He had, had back surgery recently. That's why he's kind of limping around there on the sideline, but it hasn't really slowed him down one nope. bit. 19-yard gain from Marshall. And that's his first catch of the ball game. Also the first reception in Alliance history for Jalen Marshall. Green time, green time. Easy, 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 easy. Hey, Baltimore LA, Baltimore LA. Green time, green time. Say look. Like he may have ran out of time. Prior to the snap, the way game, offense, five yard penalty. It's down. Yeah, that's that same check with me. We had it earlier, right, on a, on a third down play where he got out of the pass play and trying to quickly check into a run. That's all based on the numbers in front of him. He's got those run pass options, not post-snap, but pre-snap. That's the communication. Probably more freedom with the line for Garrett Gilbert than any other quarterback in the line. They trust him in time. Memphis bringing four, and that one knocked down at the line of scrimmage by Jermichael Winston. You know, one of the things I enjoyed a couple years I got to back up Peyton, the old ball who was just brilliant, and you're going to see hands up, can't get home, get your hands up, well done here, is in their audible game, many times you'd have like a city, as you, that you do here, you hear him saying like Buffalo or different cities, and the creativity you got to come up with because those defenders start to hear it too. So is it Buffalo? Is it Cleveland? Is it any city's name would mean one thing, and if it was a state, it could mean the other. But it was a constant game of juggling those things, making sure your guys communicate it, and those defenders don't understand it. Easy, 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 easy. Hey, Atlanta, Atlanta! Green 10, Louis, Green 10, Green 10! And there they run out of time again, doing exactly what you talked about the last scrimmage. They have the city and then Louis. They're going two man, it's not a good play. Second down. Yep, so you can hear there, he's saying, hey, they're in two man coverage. So we got pass called. I don't like that pass against that coverage. So he's trying to get to the run. But this is where that 25 second clock, that 35 second clock wreaks a little havoc. You don't have the time to do it. So eventually, you know what you do? You get to a call that's good against any coverage. Yeah. So now looking at second and green 20 time, after time. two delay of game penalties. 
And just three rushes brought by Memphis. So they have a couple extra men there in coverage. Bonds on the tackle after the nine yard So game. I played in two very different systems. The West Coast system with Holmgren and Peyton Manning system in Indy with Tom Moore. One was totally check with me, one was no checks. Don't want to check, I want to get in the rhythm. I mean, you had some in the run game or in certain situations, but that difference between I want to get to every right play versus I want to get in the rhythm. Right, you see Silver's on the other side. He's in the rhythm, he's feeling good, he's playing with confidence. It's a little game of checks and balances, that quarterback and system perspective. And again, the clock ticking down. And they're forced to call a timeout here to avoid Orlando their third their first straight delay game the penalty on this drive. We're going to take a break, too. Third and 11 coming up. This is the true story of the moment that changed my life. Okay, who's next? I need to see you acting. Go deep. I'm going to the John. When you're honest about who you are, good things happen. You start telling the truth, then they are never going to look at you the same way again. Oh, my God, that was so scary. Whoa. In an era of online retail, where everything is just a few clicks away, buying a car should be no different. That's why at Carvana, you can buy a car 100% online. We made it easy to browse, view, and buy from over 10,000 cars. You can even trade in your old car, all while binge-watching your favorite TV show. Afterwards, we'll deliver your car to you. Or you can pick it up from one of our car vendors. machines. Either way, your car comes with a seven-day return policy. So grab a seat, relax in your comfy pants, and enjoy the new way to buy a car at Carvana. So a couple of delay of game penalties have been costly for Orlando on this drive. They're looking at third and 11 here. It's going to be interesting to see what uh, the head ball coach draws up for Garrett Gilbert. And this clock is running. I mean, you come out of it's that timeout, you got to go. There is no time to dilly-dally in the Alliance. Green 10, green 10! Garrett pressured, gets rid of it before he runs out of bounds. That was Freddie Bishop among those giving chase. You know, when you turn the ball over three times, early in the first quarter, I promise you is you're going to see Gilbert scramble out. I guarantee you earlier he would have thrown this ball right here. I guarantee that. Earlier in the first quarter he throws that ball. But you know what? Two picks, a fumble, you know, a couple other ones that could have been picked. That's that line you start to walk, especially late in a game. I'm just not going to take that risk in that moment. Gilbert with two interceptions in a game for the first time this season. Came into the game with just one. Playing a little bit more conservative here. As Orlando finds themselves down by one. Ball takes a big hop. Fielded at the 13-yard line by Dantes Bird. That's a 50-yard punt. Driving Bird way back. Nice punt there by Ben Turk. His Uncle Matt, if that name sounds familiar, a 17-year NFL veteran, and his brother Michael, a punter at Arizona State. All right, so big drive here. Maybe chew up a little clock. And especially here at the 13, you're thinking first down. I mean, first things first, get the ball away from our own end zone. Set. And just see those chains move. A little bit behind the receiver, only man to get a ball, and it was the defensive back, Marquez White. You know, it's been interesting watching Memphis with Brandon the last couple weeks. They've been at their best when their back's been against the wall. It was a week ago, 17-point deficit. They come all the way back, find a way, get the first win in overtime in Alliance history. 
They're down 22 to nine. Everybody just relaxed a little bit. You saw him rip it, cut it loose. You get the lead back here. Their previous three and out, drive stalled. You do Set. not want a three and out at your own 12-yard line. Ready, set. McGee in the backfield, zips it over the middle. That one's complete. Amir Carlisle making the catch. Josh Evans on the tackle. So get back to what you do best, and that's throw that inside slant route. Take an eye again at this right tackle. We had Gilbert earlier, the coach and quarterback, talking to the referees saying, hey, man, that Weathersby, that right tackle is getting a jump on nearly every play. Hey, yeah, yeah. Randy, Randy. But if you Let's don't go. get a call against you, that, Randy, you're doing Randy. it. Randy, set. McGee. Squirts through the line, picks up 12 and another first down. Okay, I'll go Gruden on you, man. I got my favorite player, and it's not a quarterback, all right? <laughs> it is this center for Memphis. He may snap it a little slow, Demetrius Rainey, but there is no question who is setting the tempo in that huddle. You saw it on the earlier QB sneak that got called back, and on that play right there, an excellent job with a combo block and getting to the second level and allowing nice his flip. running nice back flip. to run behind him. Nice flip. 33 games played in the NFL for Rainey with the Rams and the Redskins. Set. Last Ready. in the league in 2017. Ready, screen pass, trying to cut back across the field. He has some work to do. Dan Williams taking a risk and it's paying dividends down to the 34-yard line stage inbounds before finally being taken out after a 34-yard pickup. And just look at the sidelines. Coach Singletary going up and down the line. The stadium's alive. This is that run pass option. The whole line is run blocking. Look at them. They're all run blocking. And that time Silvers gets the ball out before they're too far down the field. And you're exactly right, man. Risk rewards. Gary Gilbert had a chance, right? A high risk possible throw down the field. That is a high risk when you cut it back all the way across the field. But plenty of reward for Williams. Yeah. You talk about them playing go, well with their backs go. against the wall. Williams, the man who caught the game-winning touchdown in Ready. overtime last week. Ready, set. And it, bro. Kenny Hilliard goes for one. Let's listen in to Steve Spurrier chatting it up with the officials. You don't think their right tackle jumps a little bit? The right tackle's moving the same time the ball. Okay, here. okay. That's just what I wanted. I, Hey, 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 y'all be quiet. Be nice, you gotta be nice to him. <laughs> That's uh, Coach Spurrier talking to Maya Chaka, one of three female officials in uh, the Alliance. And it is, yeah, it, it yeah, has to swing. do with this snap too. So watch that ball on the tackle. It's just that the snap moves Ready. back slower. Ready, set. Second and nine oh. throw nearly picked off. That hit White right in the chest. We have a penalty flag down. Very curious to see what this call is yeah, here. Yeah, it's going to be P.I. or a pass interference. Defense number 27. Automatic first down. You can get away with a little forearm. You can get away with a little shoulder. You're not going to get away with a two-hand shove. <laughs> it doesn't matter what league you're in. And White's a physical guy. He loves to press right here. But you're going to see the two hands and the shove and the contact right there. And you just do that 10 yards down the field with the ball in the air, you're going to get called. Let's go, let's go. Set. New Ready. set of downs now for Ready. Silver in this Memphis offense at the 20-yard line. Puts it up into the end zone, was looking for McGee. He laid out, tried to haul it in. They've done that a couple of times. They must like that matchup with well, McGee coming out of the backfield. This is a really good job, and Brandon knows that this whole play is set up because of the interference in front. You stack your receivers outside with your tight ends. You can see this here. So these guys interfere, and you want to get that back out on that linebacker. They get everything they want. You see much more difficult throws today. Sometimes Justin, those three-foot putts. They're the most difficult to make. No the little doubt. gimmies. Let's go, let's go. Linebacker on that play, Reggie Northrup, really didn't have a chance. Red Eddie. Red Eddie, set. This time complete, and they do pick up the first down. Dantes Burt going for 11. Burt's third catch of the ball game. He likes these in-breaking routes. 
right? Some of those plays, and he'll throw that deep out as well. But these slants, these little in routes, that's the advantage of playing three years at Troy. Neil Brown's going to be really good at West Virginia. I think he does a phenomenal job. Their new head coach, he was his head coach and play caller at Troy. Texas, Texas. And Brandon understands the timing of getting that ball Texas. out between the hashes. Red 80. Red 80, set. Silvers looks to his left. That's where he goes. Caught in the end zone by Bird. It's a touchdown. Memphis is rolling. Let's fucking go. So we saw the concept earlier. They're interfer interference, right, to get the running back out. Well, this is similar here. You're just trying to run and get that little cross action. You're trying to just free up your wide receiver. He's actually the inside. He's number three in that slot. You run that interference with one and two outside. It's a very similar concept. But instead of doing it with the back in the backfield, you're doing it with your slot receiver inside and a perfectly thrown back shoulder seed for the touchdown. Right, Bird on white again as they go for two. A little pump fake, then back to the left. Two-point conversion is good. Shepard hauls it in. 31 to 22. Memphis coming into this game with just two wins on the season. And now with just about eight and a half minutes to go, they find themselves with a healthy lead over the best team in the league. Well, and remember, Orlando, the number one scoring defense as well in this league. Not so much today against a red-hot quarterback uh, that's playing with a confidence that's picking everybody else up. Come on, Carol. Hawaii, nice. Yeah, I'm excited. Finally earned enough rewards points. So jealous. Yeah, I can't wait to get that shave ice. What's shave ice? It's like a Hawaiian snow cone. Why don't I just say snow cone? I don't know, they call it shave ice. You fly to Hawaii for this. I don't go there for the ice. You saved up your reward points for ice. That's a lot of ice. Oh, okay. Go Rewards Credit Card from Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Free, 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 free. Free, free, free. Free, free, free. Free, 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 free. Free, 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 free. Free, 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 free. Free. Free, free. free, free, free. That's right. TurboTax Free is free. Free, 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 free. Just under here eight and a half to go in the game. The Apollos down. find themselves down here at the Liberty Bowl three, two, by three, nine. Ten. Penalties, turnovers have been killing them in this game. Garrett Gilbert completes his first pass of this drive to Jalen Marshall, who's going to be one yard shy of the first. Well, it's the two things that killed him in their loss and in the very tight game with Memphis the first time around. Spurrier knew it, told us this week, we played these guys earlier, they played us as tough as anybody. It was 124 penalty yards against them the first time. They're sitting at 123 right now with 11, 11 critical penalties, and then the three turnovers, including one that led to a touchdown, a sack fumble there on Gilbert. And now Orlando's in a place they've not been in much this year. Down two scores with seven and a half to go. Green 10, green 10! Pressure off the edge, picked off by Memphis. Again, a costly interception. This is Terrell Bonds down to the 21-yard line. A 22-yard return. The third pick of the ball game for Garrett Gilbert. And remember, just one coming in to the game all season long. I think Spurrier may be asking here about how many rushers. Remember, only allowed to bring five, and you're going to see the pressure come off Garrett's blind side. I think that's his, his question there. There were four defenders to the one side of the field, and I think he is just curious here as Memphis gets home once again in a beautiful force. I think Mr. Gates getting on his way. <laughs> Yeah. Being defensive player of the week again. And we do Illegal we do have a flag down. Has been called by the Sky Judge replay there you go. against number 34 defense. That's a 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down, Orlando. So there's a Sky Judge that can correct egregious errors, and he makes this call. Let's look at it. Yeah, and you're trying to, by rule in this league, not allow overloads to one side of the field. Number 58 was the rush. Number 58. 
Yeah, and you hear there, it's 58. It was Gates coming off of that side. It was 4-2 that side. So there have not been very many calls made. One, maybe two on the season by the Sky Judge. But that's an accurate call. Yeah, and Singletary's asking for an explanation here from that booth. And we've not seen many of these calls over the course of the season. We saw it early. Right? Arizona had a few of these defensive penalties called against them for illegal defense and overloads and too many rushers. And really, that's even out over the course of the season. But by rule, I believe that to be the, right, the correct call in this league. Down! So new life for Garrett Gilbert and this Apollo's offense. Green 10, green 10! Seven up! And a completion to Charles Johnson goes for 12. And if you're Garrett Gilbert, you kind of take a little... All right. This is like a, a, an extra out in baseball. Okay, I, I've been gifted something here, right? Or a foul ball that that 400 foot shot just went foul against me when i'm pitching and i get another opportunity this is where you got to breathe you got plenty of time you got your time out, two of them left down and you just don't need to get it all back right now green time green time Seven. four rushers coming almost got to gilbert but he gets it off sean price was he pushed out of bounds or did he get there? He absolutely got there. Holding but offense, the number 74. 10 yard penalty, replay, first down. That's number 74, Marquise Lewis, who's starting at left guard for Andrew Tiller. Well, these penalties giveth and taketh, and that's the, the big right tackle. You're right, he's sliding in. He's going to get the holding call, but this is their concept. This is that shallow cross that they love so much been so effective for him and that's the right call that holding call all saves gilbert from getting hit that's absolutely the right call and there's a concept that i promise you in the next seven minutes you're going to come back to because that shallow cross concept has been effective that's the right call okay that doesn't show up anywhere other than a hole but freddie bishop the pass rusher there just saved the touchdown. That's the 12th penalty of the ball game for the Apollos. Ball tipped and catch made. Supreme concentration by Charles Johnson. Second down. Charles Johnson again dropped a couple of balls early but you can see the trust factor there between Gilbert and his best receiver been going back to him throughout much of the game <laughs> offensive lineman Quintarius Eatman the right tackle out of the game green tag, with green a hand tag. injury that's why Lu Lucas has been moved back to right tackle Gilbert dumps this off and that looks like he's gonna pick up the first down Colton jumper there to make the tackle on Johnson It'll be really close and this has not been a good down in distance if they are short their their short yardage gain third and one remember they went for it on their own 30 and on fourth and one and did not get it this has been problematic for the Apollos today not a great spot yes. looking at third and one here Green 10, green 10. We're going to go to the air. Pass complete. That's Marshall. I think Spurrier and Gilbert said enough's enough. We're not going to run into that brick wall. If you're going to commit bodies as they do in those third down situations and you're going to give us one-on-ones outside, we're not going to try to run it to win this game in the final five minutes. It's going to be on the arm of Garrett Gilbert. Well, not a better arm down. this season in the alliance than Garrett Gilbert. Look at the numbers green 10, there. Green 10. 
And again, using that arm. Has it made in the end zone. Caught. Johnson. Touchdown, Apollo. And Johnson. Where do you want it? Matched up with Justin Martin into the starting lineup. Has not had a great day. And you keep going after it. Right? You're not going to call a penalty on the right tackle. You're going to keep doing it. Trying to get that little half second. And you're going to see at the top of your screen, this is just a simple go around. This is man-to-man -man coverage. It's the beauty of this league, man. You can't. You can't cover up necessarily. There's only so much defense that you can play and you can run when you can only brush five. You're out on an island, and Charles Johnson doing what he's done best all year with now his fifth touchdown reception. Look at those numbers. Seven catches, yeah. 129 yards, and a touchdown for the leading receiver in the alliance. Big play here. Green 10, green 10. Seven. Two-point conversion. Pass broken up yeah. by that Memphis defense. That was Justin Martin making amends. That touchdown. And we have a three-point ball game. So you may get beat on the go route, but if you're a cornerback, you have to have the shortest memory of anybody on the field. A little contact early. They let him play. Charles is looking for the call. Could have easily been called. It's not. It remains a three-point game. But how about this little swing back and forth? Like two heavyweights in a ring, right? Just going back and forth. This game was 22-9. I bet you some of those Apollos thought Memphis, two and five, they're done. Manziel's out, a bunch of dudes are out. It's cold, it's windy. Yeah. And they've done nothing but respond Set. behind Silvers, Ready. and so does Orlando to make Ready. it interesting Set. the final four. And McGee goes down right away. Leon Orr, first the game there. That's a loss of three. I caught a flag. <laughs> Access like nowhere else, Brock Heward. <laughs> it's like you're on the field. What? It's like you're you're back in the day. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what 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 was that? What was that? Was a run play for nothing right in the darkness. You could scrap that one for the final four minutes. Memphis with a three-point lead, looking for just their third yeah. win of the season. Talk about the defense for the Apollos. You mentioned this earlier. Yeah. Giving up 15 Ready. points per game, Ready. 31 to Memphis today. Nearly picked off. That's Keith Reeser. That dude has a nose for the football. Three picks on the season and a couple of pick sixes. Well, he's been talking all day. No separation. You're doing nothing on him. No one, and there really isn't anybody on this roster that can run by him, especially without Horn, the go-to receiver. So compliment Memphis even more than without their big weapon. And you can see how fired up Reeser is. You're 6-1 for a reason. You play with some of that edge and some of that confidence, especially when it matters in the final four minutes. Let's go, let's go. Just over four minutes to go, looking at third and 12. Big play for Memphis. Ball, but Bird still able to haul that in. You can see the smile on Silver's face. Yeah, I think it's Northrup, the blitzing linebacker, who's going to shoot right through here. Right, you can bring that fifth. And when it's go-to time on third and 12, I think he gets it. But what a phenomenal job by Silvers. That, that to me, is just representative of his game. Got to do whatever it takes. Got to give my receiver let's go, let's on go. third and 12 any opportunity to go make a play for me. As the rain is falling here at the Liberty Bowl, it's Reggie Northrup who got a hand on it. Great adjustment by Bird and Silvers. This time it's Andrew Ankara who says, uh-uh, not today, Mr. McGee. Yeah, no, and you can hear Silver's talking. Like, <laughs> if he wanted to, he could have pulled that ball. And he probably should have pulled that ball. All right. Orlando calls their second timeout of the half. It'll be a 30-second timeout. Will the clock operator please reset to three minutes? in 35 seconds yeah this isn't necessarily silver's game but when you have got this kind of pursuit coming downhill that's what you got to keep that's tomorrow in film you're running back terrence goes uh brandon i know you don't like to run but guess what i don't like getting hit in the ear hole is you hand me the ball so if we're going to run that play in that concept and maybe it's just two three four yards but it avoids that negative play on first down that puts you up against it you have the wind, now you have the rain. How much does this change what you're doing here on second and 12? It can't. It can't. You got to do what you've done all game long, what Brandon did last Set. week. Red 80. Red 80, set. 
Again, this is McGee, and again, he is yeah, surrounded by white jerseys. Yeah, I can't do that. Both those plays. So you eat up both of their timeouts, but you give the best offense in this league the ball back and a chance to win. Orlando calls their final timeout of the half. It'll be a 30-second timeout. Will the clock operator please reset to three minutes, 30 seconds? Yeah, you're here because Brandon's thrown for 265 Thank yards. You. You're here because he's thrown those inside slants, right? The in routes. And you can hear them right there say, pull it. Right, that's exactly what we just showed right there on first down. But now, because of those two runs for nothing, you're in a much more difficult third and ten. And I'm curious here for Orlando. Do you rush five and play man? You play a little bit of soft zone. To me, this is where I, too, on the other side, if I'm Spurrier and crew, have got to trust my defenders, the best man-to-man -man cover team in this league, and continue to be aggressive. Because they look like they're going to rush three and drop eight. Well, they have nine interceptions on the season. Red Brandon eight, Silvers a nice job taking care of the ball. Has to go to the air here. And that is not going anywhere. So this Orlando defense no, that's what it comes was. up that's big. A five-yard gain as they get the ball out to Anthony Manzo-Lewis. Yeah, nowhere really to go when you drop eight other than to possibly scramble for it. And by the way, you go out of bounds. And yeah, the clock is winding is down. Ryan Winslow back to punt. His most important kick of the game. When you talk about that Orlando offense, nobody scores at a better clip than they do. Over 30 points. As the ball's through the hands of Winslow, he falls down. My goodness, what a critical error for Winslow and the special teams unit as Orlando is going to be in perfect position to take the lead. Wow. The ball like a good will be snap. placed in the spot of the fumble by the punter. It'll be first and ten, Orlando. Oh, man. And the rain is coming down. You could see he could keep his feet on the turf. It, it's like a slip and slide out there for these guys. Oh. What a terrible break no from Memphis. Feeling. What a, There's just no worse feeling. What a gift for Orlando. You're just, you're just over. You're just over the ball. Winslow yeah. plays college ball at Pittsburgh. Mm. Green 10, green 10. And that pass complete to Johnson, who is inside the 20. Get the ball to your best players when it matters. Spurrier knows it. I think he's as good as anybody at doing it. He's going to trust Gilbert, even with three turnovers. He's absolutely going to continue to try to get the ball to Johnson, who has been a monster yet again green tonight. Green 10, green 10. Set up. Gilbert dropped by Dearness Johnson. And here's the thing as we come down to the two-minute warning, with this weather, yep. a field goal not automatic. Well, and you drink some kickers anyway earlier. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that seal's been broken. You already I, did that. I, I don't think I jinxed Elliot Fry yet. <laughs> You're not thinking field goal right now. You are thinking possess this ball and go score a touchdown. There's absolutely no one's mindset. That's not the head coach's mindset, and that's not his quarterback's mindset to sit here and settle for a field goal after this gift turnover. Look at Elliot yeah. Fry earlier. Two field goals made already. Easy, easy, easy. Gotta hurry. Green 10, green 10. Set it up. Gilbert is smacked. Gets the pitch off to Johnson. Breaks the tackle. Johnson puts his head down. He gets to the two-yard line after a pickup of 17. Are you crazy? I don't know if they got that off. I don't think they did. Unsportsmanlike conduct by the Memphis head coach for entering the field during the live ball. Four and four. Wow. There's another one. That bench has lost its mind. The Singletary thought like I did that was a delay game. By the Memphis head coach will be enforced half the distance to the goal. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, Memphis assistant will also be enforced. It'll be first down. 
Mike Singletary is hot. He thought it was a delay of game, and he's letting the officials hear about it. A three-point ball game, under two to go here in Memphis. My patio is begging for a new chair. And what my patio wants, my patio gets. For less, like that, and that. I found the perfect patio chair at the perfect price. Here, at home, where you'll find the biggest selection of styles at the best prices. So here's the deal. Somewhere along the way, Western boots got too expensive. And the styles? <sighs> Well, Tecovas fixed that. We make handcrafted, high-quality Western boots from the finest materials for a fair price. With free shipping, returns, and exchanges, and service that would make our grandmothers proud. From comfort to quality to price, value is one of our values. Find your pair only at Tecovas.com. All right, back here in Memphis, Mike Singletary Still is irate. Here's a look at what he's complaining about. Uh, you're going to see the play clock. We've seen already a bunch of delay of games. I think he has every right to be. Ball has not been snapped. Usually you get the benefit of the doubt. You get a half second from the official looking at it and looking at the snap and looking at the play clock. But Singletary's lost his mind. I wow. Mean, he's ready to go make that tackle. Uh, he, he, is, he is 15 yards into the field of play. Because he's looking at the play clock. He's looking over the shoulders of those guys and saying, hey, I know you give them the little bit of a benefit of a doubt, but that was outrageous. That wasn't a tick. That was a second. That was, that was a one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. It was over a second. And he wants to challenge it. You think this league matters? You think Mike Singletary hey, let me cares? Tell you, let me tell you I'm something. I'm serious. He is. Memphis calls for their first time out of the half. 30 seconds. And Reggie Smith's like, oh, no. I don't want to go deal with my <laughs> Singletary right now. Imagine being a running back or a quarterback like you were staring at that dude with those eyes looking at you. Well, he's got sunglasses covering him up, but I'm going to guess they look exactly like they used oh, to look yeah. when he barked signals. I'm looking over. I'm looking over the shoulders at the play clock. And the explanation here. So, inside the last two minutes of a ball game, everything is reviewable. The question is, yep. and this is what they're trying to figure out right now, is that reviewable? Reggie Smith earning his money today, isn't and he? And Reggie Smith said, no, it's not mine. And, and that's too bad. That's a miss. But now what are you going to do about it? Now, now there's no steam that's going to help you in any way. Now it is about you and your effort defensively here to go execute. Well, and that play was down to the two-yard line, so the penalty put to the one. So down. it wasn't a huge penalty, all things considered. But they to the tight end. Good. Keeping it on the ground into the end zone. And Smith in for the score. It looks like. I don't know if they're going to call him down yet. We don't have a touchdown signal. As of yet, well, it would ban benefit oh. Memphis if it was a score in some ways. <laughs> or they're going to have to use a timeout. By the way, that delay game not reviewable. Does the ball cross? Ooh, I think that's the right call. I think his elbow is down before that ball crosses the plane. It looks to me like the ooh, ball is right ooh, there. Ooh, it's ooh, really that's maybe close. right on it. Yep. The ruling on the field is the ball carrier is down short of the goal line. The previous play is under further review. And that's a fine line if you're Davion Smith, right? You do not want to extend that ball and risk a fumble Absolutely. on first down. Absolutely not. Do you have me? The ruling on the field is that the ball carrier will stop short of the goal line. Bill Reggie? Yes. Do you hear me, sir? I've got you loud and clear, Okay, I'm Brian. trying to see if maybe uh, he was not down by contact. So what I'm looking at here, sir, is the right down the line. I do see the ball crossing the plane. I do not see a knee down. This is a touchdown. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. After further review, the ball carrier was not down by rule when he broke the plane of the goal. It is a touchdown. So that is the official review with access provided by Tecovas. You know what I love about that? It's on it. 
That first view, Quick. that first view, you looked at and said, ah, maybe not. That second view that, that we saw, you're right. There was nothing, no body part down. That elbow forearm touch, but when it did, that ball broke the plane, and I love how fast. They didn't waste time. Replay official Brian Lopinto. Yes. All over it. Hey, NCAA basketball. Hey, NFL. And hey, Singletary still I right. <laughs> He's yelling, I think, now up at the replay booth. I'm carrying my faith in Lee Jim. You do right, you. So up by three now. Oh, Singletary is letting them hear it. And let's see what the call is here. My guess is it probably has something to do with Singletary. Mike Singletary knows how important this game is to his team. A loss means that they are out of the playoff picture. So, Dan, you've called like seven of these. Have we had one quite like this? No, yet? I don't think we have. We've had some great ones. <laughs> yes. This is there a little was, different. There was one minute, 51 seconds, when the ball carrier was deemed to have scored. Will the clock operator please set the clock to 151? You know, the amazing thing about this is he's been right on And the two-point attempt will be on time. And this is a huge two-point play. In these conditions, the difference between driving down and trying to kick a field goal to tie it. Absolutely right. Versus needing a touchdown to win it. Another stoppage here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We're back in business. Down. Green 10, green 10! Set And inside handoff, head down as he is fighting for that two point conversion. <laughs> you think that uh, Memphis defense wanted to keep Davion Smith out of the end zone? We have uh, flags down. And you can see. The rain on our camera lenses. The, if you look at the referee's shirts there, you can see the wind blowing. Not ideal weather conditions here in Memphis. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, Orlando number 74. 15 yard penalty will be added to the succeeding spot. First and 10, Memphis. Marquise Lewis called for the penalty. I believe that's now going to be 147 penalty yards. That's, that's a lot, that's isn't it, That's nine right? points in Bill Parcells' world. <laughs> Seriously. Wow. Every 100 yards of penalties is worth about six points. That's incredible. And 13 for 147, and these are 15 big ones, and I don't think he crosses. And you can see 74 there. Lucas come in with just a cheap shot. And in these conditions, you just gave your opponent 15 yards. Costly penalty. A look at the numbers right there. 13 for Orlando. It's, I think we're going to see another one. Looked like a horse collar tackle to oh, me. There's another one. And there we go. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Hats, flags, everything flying. So this game has just lost its mind. <laughs> it is uh, quite emotional down there on the field today. And there's another shove. But you know what this is, and Mike Singletary, when he does calm down after this, this team's taking on his personality. And when you lose your mind as a head coach, guess what it feels and entitles your players to? And that's Weathersby coming in, and that's an absolute cheap shot on Orr. It would have been a horse collar. These were probably offset then, unless it was dead ball after the play. But an obvious horse collar. And poor Reggie and his crew have made their money and some today. That they have. But when you lose it and you lose your cool, your players follow your lead. And, and I think we both completely understand the frustration there shown by Mike Singletary because he, he has been correct. There have been some calls that are missed. They adjusted the clock. Um, but what are you going to do about but it? You, right. Follow the leader. Spurrier's been a gentleman on the other side. <laughs> he absolutely has. He's been protecting himself well, to get very, out of the way. Very impressed. Very polite, asking about offsides. There are multiple fouls on the play. Ineligible downfield on the pass. Offense, number 65. Personal foul, horse collar tackle. Defense, number 94. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Offense, number 76. Those fouls all offset 
replay, first down. Wow, all that for yep. that. And, and if you're Mike Singletary right now, and to your team, to your staff, to your coordinator, to your quarterback, hey, let's go win this game. You got, you got to start to set that tempo yourself as the head coach and remind everybody, let's go win this game as you did a week ago or get it to overtime where you wanted a week ago in overtime. But losing your cool and losing your mind is not going to help you do that. There's that snap, kind of a high, slow snap. Gets it off to McGee who loses his footing. And, and just a just product of the, the weather play. right there. Yeah, and it affects the whole play. It's the little things, but that slow snap just affects all the timing and rhythm of that play. As much as you like, Rainey, you'd like to see that snap get back there a little quicker. Ready. Ready, set. Second and 12. Gets the ball out through the hands of his intended receiver. It was Gerard Shepard. And I think you could hear he, he just said that ball is soaked. Can we get a new ball into this game? Is that wind and that rain is coming and now a huge third and 12. Still two timeouts, plenty of time. You do not need to panic here at all. Play fast, never in a hurry. And with two timeouts, you do not need to be in any rush. And let's not forget last week, down by 11 to Birmingham with less than five to go in the game. They come back and win that in overtime. Ready, set. He's pressured, kind of flips it away and it's picked off. Oh, oh kind. Snags the ball right out of the air, and that could be game, set, match. Trying to make something happen as Andrew Ankra was coming in with the pressure, and it's the other linebacker, Rokine. Those two guys have been making plays on the outside all season long. Just winners find a way to win in the end, and you can see by the sky cam, it is soaked, it is drenched. You're trying to step up. What a tremendous rush there. As you point out the two difference makers, it's Ankra with the rush. It's Okine finishing it. Those two outside linebackers, Silvers, he doesn't see him, right? He steps up into that pocket. And even at six foot seven, 265, you hide behind the line. And the game-changing takeaway, there have been a bunch of them, and this game swung both ways. Hey, two hands, brother. Goes away the Goes Apollos at the yeah. end. And a good reminder there from the veteran coach and quarterback, take care of the football. Keeping it on the ground is Smith. He picks up five. They try to chew up as much clock as possible. Memphis going to burn those timeouts. Memphis. And they take Calls one here with just over out. a minute to go. The they take a timeout. So do we. We'll be back in a moment. Will the clock operator please reset to one minute, five seconds? The madness is here. This is going to be a wild ride. This is the best environment in all of Girl, come on. Come on, let it out. All right, maybe let it out just a little softer. I ran into the old crew. Did I did? Why don't we just get all the girls together and party like it's 1999, <laughs> DME? Yo, Shannon! The kids said they want some sushi for lunch. You know you got that kind of dope. Aw, uh, he just here for the kids. <laughs> the Last OG. New season premieres Tuesday at 10.30 on TBS. You're not gonna believe what I'm about to tell you. No, I'm not. But it is pretty cool, so I might tell you. You down? Always. I mean, this is crazy, right? It's wonderful. So Memphis used their second to last timeout. One left, 105 on the clock, second and five for the Apollos, who can uh, ice this up Go ahead, with one set. more first down. Green 10, green 10. Set up. Two hands. As he's handing it off, you can hear him remind Smith to hold on it with two hands. 
Memphis calls their third and final timeout of the game. 30 seconds. Let's check out the TurboTax game-breaking highlight. Davion Smith head down into the end zone. They reviewed it. Keeping it on the ground. And it was indeed the deemed a touchdown. Smith broke free, 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 as Orlando is on their way, potentially, to improving to 7-1 and one on the year. Yeah, this just feels like there are about 10 of those plays that could have fallen there. The, the, the fumbled snap on the punt. The delay a game that wasn't called on a little option check there by Spurrier and Gilbert. The swing of emotion with so many giveaways and takeaways on both sides. And this is going to be yet another run to chew up this clock. Again, sticking with Davian Smith in the backfield. Green 10, green 10. Yeah. And he's going to be short. Corey Vereen there on the tackle. Now, this will be interesting. Will Spurrier... You watch the other side. No. Get that play clock going as you hear people screaming. There it goes. Play clock running. Game clock winding down. Wow. And that's. They had the play clock issues, so now they can just run it down. That yeah, yeah that's, that's a miss. And you're going to get they're going to get this right. Yeah, I think they're going to try to sort this out. How did y'all screw that up, man? How did y'all screw that up? So they didn't start the play clock on time. Clock stick kept running. Yeah. Reggie's going to get this situated. We're ascertaining the status of the clock. So they'll go to the replay official and the sky judge and make sure they get this right. Steve Spurrier asking some questions. Yeah, and there's going to be enough time here. It'll be interesting. He watched a fumbled snap right on the punt in these windy, rainy conditions to see just what he does with the amount of well, time that's going to be left. clock operator, please reset the clock to 53 seconds. This is where the clock was when the last play ended. The 35-second play clock will run simultaneous, and both clocks will start on my whistle. So take it down to 18 seconds if you're Orlando here. Right, you're going to run all of that clock. You do not have a timeout here. You just run it down and take a delay a game, and then you risk that punt. You try to run the ball on fourth and two. Now they're going to run it. I'm just going to take a delay. Down. Green 10, green 10. Set on it. Wow. Thank wow. You. Wow. <laughs> Wow, the excitement from Gilbert. That's inexcusable. I mean, that just can't, that cannot That's happen defensively. Not ideal. Neutral zone infraction, defense number 92. He came into the neutral zone causing an offensive reaction. It's a it. five yard penalty, first down. And that's the second time, and, and this one ends the game. A little Philip Rivers to him, doesn't he, Gary? He sure does. Seriously. He's got a little Philip. He doesn't mind talking a little bit. He's coaching everybody up at all times, and that's inexcusable defense. The foul was by the defense, and by rule, it would reset the play clock to 35 seconds and start on the ready for play. And by rule, time would expire. The ball game is over. Wow. And that's it. Orlando improves to 7-1 and one on the season in a back-and-forth affair that saw Memphis with chances to keep their playoff hopes alive. Fox Stewart, Chuck McDonald, and the rest of our crew. I'm Dan Helley. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a great rest of your weekend. The champion.